Hello, welcome to Brilliant Performance this morning. Welcome to the Monday morning walk around. It seems these things are quite uh, quite popular and we've got Lou just wandering underneath the camera there as it goes. Say hello, Lou. Hiya. Uh, <laughs> Basically, welcome to the Monday morning. Welcome to the Monday morning walk around at uh, Brilliant Performance. Um, it seems these things are quite popular, so um, I wanted to just continue. Everybody's saying keep going. What I want to do then is I'm going to give you a little bit of a walk around, find out what's going on. Uh, and see if we can sort of uh, just let you know what we're up to this week. Um, so, what we got in? Let's show you what we've got in. Have a quick look over here, then. Neil McLennan. I'm sure he's easy. You can see us. All right, Neil. How you doing? Basically, his bike's down. We're going to do a little bit of service. His bike's down from uh, he's in Aberdeen or Inverness. He's north of Scotland kind of guy. Anyway, basically, we've got a little bit of a engine management thing we're going to sort out for him. Give it a bit of a service, make sure it's running nice for him when it gets back. So we've got everything right for the season. It seems like everybody's kind of getting their bikes ready for the season. Pretty cool to be fair, because it's kind of, you can feel the excitement kind of building. So for those of you guys that are in the middle of, uh, in the middle of summer, uh, yeah, nice one. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the sun, keep on coming, please. Keep it coming. Yeah, so B4, Tuono, that's in for a little bit of a tweak up, make sure we know what's going on. Michaela's bike there as well, that's all done. Just have a quick look around this bit here. Look, all this flash stuff around here, it's all pretty, looks pretty badass, that does. Okay, that's all cool. My bike, just have a quick peek over here. Let me just, I'm just gonna give you a quick flash, a quick peek, watch this. Watch this. Oh, rear sets for a V4, you haven't seen those, okay? Pass, the, pass it back to, Pass it back to Al. <laughs> so if you're feeling a bit seasick because the film's all over the place. Um, what else we got in there? Just no, nothing fresh over there. We've got the O3R over here. This one's sold. We've sold this one to our mate Joshy G. He's, uh, he's bought that, so that's going out the door in the next couple of days. Jim's bike. James. Some steering head bearings. James. The steering head bearings, fresh set of steering head bearings. All that front end will be rebuilt today. The body works already for that. This is again another little bit of a sneak preview of the AP track bikes, or one of the AP track bikes. In fact, uh, this is Al Castle's bike. So uh, you can see him kind of wheel himself already. I can, in fact, I can hear him from all the way over, probably 30 miles that way, wherever he is weaning himself about the fact that this is it's on film. In fact, I've just had a call from Stu Gardner, the other guy, who's, uh, who's the, one of our little sort of uh, assisted riders, not, not, not riders that need assistance, but assisted riders. Um, he's coming down and bringing his bike down, so that paint works away being sorted out as well. What else we got on at the moment as well? Uh, oh God, that's it. I think that's it really. We just just keep smashing through these jobs as it goes. Um, let you know what's going on. What else have we got? I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to give you a little bit, hopefully a little bit of advice for some people. We've had just lately, we've had a couple of guys that have come through our group page and they've emailed me. Um, via our website, our website address www.apriliaperformance.co.uk they've emailed us that way asking us what's going on when they're changing exhausts. So a lot of people are doing modifications to their bikes and they're getting service lights or what it says service on the dashboard. A little spanner means you need a service but on these dashboards if you say service it means there's an engine management issue. So what's happening is, is they're changing, if you have a look at this, they're changing their exhausts and what's happening is they're disconnecting, disconnecting these here. These basically are the exhaust valve servos. You're disconnecting the exhaust valve servos. They're keeping the electronic connection together. But what's happening is actually on the exhaust valve, which is in here, this is being disconnected. Now what's happening is um, because it's not recognizing what's going on and because it's not moving all right at the same time and it's not, it's not synchronized as you should do, it throws up a service card which is what's causing the problem. So if you do find yourself, once you've actually changed the exhaust with a service light on, and this is, like I said, this is happening quite a lot just lately, just check it out, just make sure you can see what's going on, just reconnect it back up again, turn your ignition off, turn it back on again, and see if it comes back. That's, that's something that is giving a little bit of a problem. Also, another one, which while we've got this bodywork off, if you follow me around here, another one as well. We've had a couple of guys, Again, just lately, complaining about the bikes come, uh, you stop, or the bike kind of doesn't cut out, but kind of stops working, and then the, 
the, the tick over starts hunting, it starts revving up and kind of calming down and revving up and calming down. There has been examples of this part here, which is known as the demand module. There's been examples of that demand module going wrong. It's not massively common, but we have seen it before. The symptoms can be a little bit weird, but because it's a fly-by-wire uh, uh, throttle setup, in other words, there's no direct contact from the throttle grip to the throttle bodies or carburetors like they would have been traditionally. It all runs and it's all sort of computer controlled. This here is the demand module. So if you see there's two wires just here, so two cables here, which are actually connected to your throttle tube, which is the bit you actually turn. Um, that's the bit that's kind of been misbehaving a little bit. So if you find this, give us a quick call and then we can see if we can sort you out, see if we can help you out, it's not a problem. Or get in touch if you want to give us a call. There's an email address, you can watch this back again. Email address is service. No, sorry, my bad. Service at a brilliant performance.co.uk. <laughs> give us a shout, let's see what we can do. All right, um, like I said, workshop's really, really busy. We've just got loads and loads to do. If you find yourself you need anything, in fact, come on, let's just come and say hello to the most important member of staff. Can I bang now? Yeah, you can bang now if you want. Bang what? We should use not the most important member of staff, Dr. B, a little baby chicken. There you go, there you go, face. She's the PR girl. What she does is she looks after people when they come in, don't you, darling? Hey? Cool. Right then. That's it for today. That's it for this walk, this Monday morning walk round. Like I said, if we find anything, we'll give you a shout and let you know what's going on. Um, we have recorded this in portrait. No, landscape, not portrait, for those of you who've complained in the past. But uh, thank you for letting us know. We're biomechanics. I don't understand this kind of stuff, so thanks for letting us know. But if you need anything, get in touch, give us a call. Email address is service at aprilliaperformance.co.uk or you can go on the website Aprilia, www.aprilliaperformance.co.uk. There's an online shop in there. If you need anything, just give us a call. Um, stay dry, stay warm in, if you're in the UK and if you're abroad where it's nice and sunny, please send us a little bit of sun. Let us know where you are, send some pictures, take care.